to your Super Bowl weekend. It's going to be a testosterone-filled few days with a big game on Sunday. Whew. Yeah, it's going to be fun, right? So we thought, what better time to find out what your man really thinks? Not about football, but about his relationship with you. There are a lot of women here. Yes. So we want to play the Super Bowl for women. Please welcome... What? Oh. Oh, my bra is showing. Sorry, they're telling me. You're you want to see it? You'll see it. Yeah. All right, you're going to you're gonna want to play close attention to this. Please welcome our man panel, former New York Giant and author of Chasing My Rookie Year, Michael Clayton is here. Very nice with that ball spinning, Michael. New York Live reporter Ben Aaron. I'm so tired. And John Murray, TV host and the editor-in-chief of AlwaysAList.com. Welcome you. to you. Oh, all. Right, guys. I'm so exhausted from what we did just now. It's a tiring. I'm losing right? I know. Yeah. Like, what was that little spin thing at the end? It's a little uh, celebration, but I was more impressed of you sending me emotion. I mean, you huh? got some swag. I did this. Is what? No, what is? I did this. Hey. <laughs> Peyton Manning does he, that. And he's good. Yes. And you caught the ball. But you know, before we get to some of these topics, I've always wondered this. I'm sure a lot of the ladies in the audience have wondered this, too. Why is it when men are watching sports, one hand is in the chips and the other is down the pants? It's not just... <laughs> right? It's always... I don't it's understand not just, that. It's our resting place, man. It's our resting place. It's our comfort but zone. It's everything. It's every possible TV show known to man. It's not even TV. It's like, hey, I'm at work. Nobody's looking. But yeah. why? I don't get it. Ed, Ed Bundy taught us that on Married with Children. We got it from him, <laughs> and we stuck with it. It's, yeah. But it's... Sometimes I'll go both really? to, the, to the elbow. We like, I'll go too... full one. <laughs> we call that too far. That's too far. Yeah. Yeah. You have now gone too far. Yeah, All right, no. you know Fifty Shades of Grey is coming out in two weeks. Oh. From today, yep. Yeah. A lot of people are excited because the book and the film, they're filled with all this provocative sex, right? All these scenes. And it raises a point. At, at what point in your relationship it is appropriate to show your freaky side in the bedroom? Immediately. <laughs> oh, you think you should? Seriously. I mean, you guys know. You want to know as much about the guy as possible or girl. Hello, my name is Ben. I own a ball gag. No big deal. <laughs> you want to know these things. I mean, you want to know what, what you're getting into. Gag? Don't act like you don't know what a ball gag is. I'm not sure. I, I'm not, I don't think I know what a ball gag is. Does anybody, do you guys know what a ball gag is? No, I do not know it's, what a ball gag is. Listen, <laughs> this would become Meredith after dark if yeah. he told you what a ball okay. gag is. Yeah. But but listen, but, communication is key. You have to tell a person if you're a high-level freak. You just can't walk out of the bedroom with whips and chains and things right. and think that I'm going to be okay with that. I'm going to get up and run out the room. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's too much. But but I would ease into it a little bit more. I don't think the first date. We like Second to date. ease into it, Meredith. That's, that's always a good thing. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> As a woman, I think that it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for to spend the rest of your life with a husband, I think you should refrain. Kinkiness should not be the introduction. It should be the reward after a man fully commits. But we're not uh, talking about... We're not talking there about, like, Dan. a simple amount of kinkiness. We're talking about, like, serious well, Fifty where Shades do, of Grey Where do you draw your line? I mean, there, there is, when it comes to that stuff, apparently there is no line. But I like to know what I'm getting into immediately. Okay. I like to, when I met my wife, I said, here's the deal. I own a leather mask. Oh. <laughs> do you really? No, See, I don't. That'd be, okay. that'd be incredible okay. if I did that, right? You, got, you own a leather mask, though, in the audience, <laughs> I can tell. All right, all right. Super Bowl, as we said, is Sunday. And the NFL has been making headlines all year, and not, of them, not a lot of them have been good. One of the league's biggest stars, Adrian Peterson, sat out most of the season after he was indicted on felony charges of reckless or negligent injury to a child when authorities said he hit his four-year-old son with a switch. So I want to ask you guys, do you think it's ever appropriate to discipline a child like that? No. No. I, I say absolutely not. Well, you, you do not have any children. You're I don't, married, and that's right? why right. it's a little odd for me to, to, get to, to think I would get to that point where I was like, this kid needs a spanking. But I know from growing up, we were never spanked, and I'm totally normal. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I come from a what? different culture. Okay. I come from a different culture of spankings. Uh, I think that as a we're culture... We're talking about Shades of Grey again. Uh, <laughs> I think that you should always tailor your spanking. There's always uh, an opportunity to set the tone with the spanking, but timeouts, 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 and maybe they lead to a spanking, but after spankings, you have to make sure that you show love to your kids, explain to them why you gave them a spanking, because I, I love my dad to death, but it was spank, 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 now it go was. to your room. And what, now you have three kids of your own. I have how three do you, kids of my own, and I, I remember as a kid how I felt as a spanking, so to better and enhance. If it wasn't for that spanking, I wouldn't be the man I am today. So I'm very thankful for that discipline. But a way to 
Right. But do you spank your own kids, or? I have spanked my, my, my kids once or twice, but now I've set the tone on that. Mm -hmm. So they know, understand that if you go to the room and time out five times, it's on the sixth time, you will get a spanking, but I've set that tone, and that tone will be set until they're grown. I don't have to do that yeah, anymore. Where does it end? You're talking about spanking, you're talking about the football player hitting the kid with a stick. Well, that well, was the... That that was, was, there's a difference between spankings and whoopings. And so uh, spankings, you do it in love. It's a teaching moment. And I know for me as a kid growing up, uh, I'd be afraid when I did something wrong of the spanking that I was going to get. So the fear of the spanking made me act right. And so, you know, you could tell the difference between people's kids who are spanked and those who are timeout kids. Like, Lindsay you... Lohan, that's, that's a timeout <laughs> kid. <laughs> Raven Simone, she was probably spanked. So it's, it's a little different there, you know, Justin Bieber, timeout okay. kid. You know, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's very different there. So, but you've got to love the kids. You've got to teach the kids. And listen, I'm the person who's in the airport or in the grocery store when little Jimmy's acting up and fighting with his mama over the candy. I want to spank little Jimmy <laughs> for you. you know, so. Well, you know, it's funny. I was never spanked as, as a child, and I, don't, I never spanked our kids. But um, my father, if I did something wrong, all he'd have to do, he'd look at me and say, I'm so disappointed oh, in you. And that was worse than yeah. any spanking you could get because that stayed with me yep. long after yeah. that I had disappointed the worst my dad. It is. So yeah. the words are, can be very, my very powerful. Face. He didn't have to say anything. My dad just got mad at me and he would go. <laughs> I was like, I'm dead. Yeah, I did exactly. something wrong. Your dad saying. was a black mother. <laughs> <laughs> he was Medea. Okay, guys, I want to ask you about this app that's out there. It's called M Couple. Have you heard about this app? Uh, it's getting a lot of buzz. It gives users access to their partner's smartphone, allows them to see not only the text and Facebook messages that they're sending, but also track their location using GPS. So should your significant other have access to your social media? Ben, I know you feel strongly. No. What? Well, should, well they what should do you have, to hide? They should, but, they, but they shouldn't have to feel like they would want to inquire into your email. I go into my wife's purse for a piece of gum. I'm like, honey, I know there's nothing in there that I haven't seen that I should be worried about. But I'm like, honey, is it okay if I go into your purse? Just out of respect. Right. You wouldn't want to dive into their personal stuff. Let them have their own thing. If, if, if something's going on, if you go into your emails of your significant other, and out of curiosity and, and because you're suspicious, I think you need to have a serious talk with that significant other. If you reach that point. Because that's yeah. a lack of trust. It's, Mike, a, it's a relationship that you don't need to be in. I mean, and face it, apps like this, these are lifetime movies waiting to happen. <laughs> you, you got somebody's GPS, that's stalker mentality. Well, I really feel that if you have nothing to hide, then you should allow this. This is free access, you know what I mean? Uh, my wife, and we, we know women. Women want to know what you're doing when you're out. Give them the luxury of free access to have that. Now, for me, I would not want to know that a man is being disrespectful over a text message because I know that as a man and as a husband, I would have to go handle, deal with that man on my wife's job because that's just Could how I was raised. Whoa, and, I would, <laughs> and I would have to stay away from that. But as a woman, to give a woman full clarity of what you're doing, I say you just, you know, no, no brainer. Let them have it. She and I don't want anybody going to my emails. But you know what's funny? I never, ever think to do it. No. I never it shouldn't once, occur yeah, to you. It never occurs to me. Because so. you trust your husband. Right. Well, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I want to get you one more thing. Jennifer Lopez, who I love, has a new movie out, The Boy Next Door, which has a lot of people talking. She plays a school teacher who has a one night stand with a teenager, and which, you know, nobody approves that. But it does raise some questions, obviously, about the older woman, the younger guy. And she said in an interview recently that she doesn't like that older women are, get a label if they date younger guys, the label obviously being cougar. She wondered why there is no male equivalent. So, well, what do you say? positive. It is it positive. It is a positive thing. And but she there is a male equi equivalent. A male? They call them dirty old men. Gross. How many times have you been out with a man of a particular age and he's got him a little young tender with him? I saw Al Sharpton out one time and I was with these older women and Al Sharpton's girlfriend is about 37 years old. So they were like, what is he doing with that little young woman? I said, he's sleeping with her. What else do you do with your young woman? They called him a dirty old man. So women do have a label for men who date younger. But it's interesting that it's the, 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 the opposite. I mean, because it's such a positive thing when you see a young guy with an older woman, you're like, dude, high five. And you see an older guy with a younger woman, you're like, Ugh, that's disgusting. But what if the older woman were like Eleanor Roosevelt? Would you still say oh, she's that's a high. That's a saber tooth tiger. Yeah, oh, that's <laughs> a saber tooth tiger. Or Barracuda. Yeah. But listen, I want somebody to high five me when I finally get Gail King to go out with me. Oh, that's, is that, oh. that is my cougar crush. Oh, okay. That's Sugar Mama. I'm yeah. after her. Oprah, I want it's... your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> she's watching. She's hot. watching. Yeah. And Michael, what do you think? I think that we do have that term. A better name is a sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. I was sugar gonna Daddy, say, yeah. A cat daddy. A cat daddy. Yeah. Or a half.
The older guy going out with the younger but woman the, is rich. Well, That's what it is. It's just is. rich. Yeah, the guys, exactly. The guys who are who go Viagra. out to the bars. <laughs> guys go out to the bars on specific nights, on cougar nights. I used to go. Just really? to be entertained. Oh, yeah. Maybe really? that's the dating app I should get on Ben. <laughs> ben was getting me, giving me dating I'm advice. Well, would you rather have an older woman or a younger woman? To date or to marry? There's a difference. If you just want to have fun and there's no strings attached and it's a nice conversation, an older woman is excellent. But if you're going to marry somebody, you spent the rest of your life, have a kid, start a family, you want somebody your own age. Well, but if I you would want date stability, all these you women date, in your audience. Right. Right. If you want financial stability, older. you date Betty White. <laughs> you only exactly. got to put a couple years exactly. in and then it's over. I, I married wanna... an older woman. You did? So I did. How much older? Four years. Okay, well, that's older. That's How's that well, working? Well, she's a doctor, and I'm retired at 32, and I'm happy. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the Super Bowl. We will be right back.